I see a lot of propaganda from a lot of guys who go, yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy, what's his name? That is it Ronnie Coleman? Yeah. I see a lot of these, like, you know, cringe, Andrew T, Sigma, Alpha, Male, edits with the loud music. Just go to the gym, bro. Forget about her. Forget about her, bro. Trust me. That'll fill the hole in your heart. Just keep going to the gym. Keep eating. Keep eating. How many calories are you on? 3,000? Better off it to 4,000. Come on, keep eating, bro. Keep eating. You look sick, bro. I know your face is getting a bit chubby and, you know, you can't see your abs anymore, but you're bulking. You're huge. You're huge, man. It's a sick, sick world. It is a sick world, man. Don't get me wrong, if you are a twig, if you are extremely skinny, then obviously go on a slight bulk. And I mean slight. See, when I say the word slight, I mean slight. I mean a slight calorie surplus. Do not get influenced by all these guys who are like, oh, yay, 10,000 calorie challenge. And then you just start listening to them. You start doing these dirty bulks and you don't feel good about yourself. Your mental health deteriorates. Your ability to focus deteriorates. But hey, at least you look sick. Hey, oh wow, I know a girl was paying attention to me, but I don't even have the energy to be present with her because my brain is covered in fog. I wish someone could go back a year ago and t- have told me not to bulk. But I wouldn't have listened back then because I was really smart, wasn't I? I was really cool and, you know, I watched all those fucking alpha male big builds and all that. Keep eating, bro, protein. But truth be told, a lot of the guys and the people who weightlift and eat like that have the biggest egos. You may know what I'm talking about. You may have come across someone like that. The ones with genuine aesthetic physiques and, you know, who have worked real hard to get there, who've done it clean, they don't usually have egos. But the ones who just dirty bulk, like, granted, they're mostly just little kids, teenagers, but it's just a dangerous thing to get yourself involved in and I don't want that for you because I wish someone could have told me this. Maybe a slight surplus and I verily mean slight but honestly it's just better to be functional. Be functional, be able, be a man that can do multiple things. How can you call yourself a man if granted you've got big arms but you can't run a mile, you can't protect your family if they're in danger? Like what the fuck is that? And I'm meant to respect that, I'm meant to look at that and be like oh wow you're strong, you're huge. Oh wow, I wish I was you. No, I don't. I don't at all. I respect the guys who are like lean as fuck in the UFC. I respect the guys who are lean in boxing. I respect them. Heck, even the heavyweight, even Tyson Fury, he's not got the most aesthetic physique, but he can still fight. What you got to say, he can. Granted, he's a duck right now, but we're not going to talk about that on camera. Don't fall for it, man. I am telling you right now, don't fall for it. It will lead you to a very bad place. You start having all these really dark thoughts. Really dark thoughts. Because you're eating so much and your diet's fucked and you just, you will not notice it. You will feel bad and you won't know why. And trust me when I say this, you don't know how much your diet affects your mood. You will not know until you come off of it. So if you're in a dirty bulk right now, bro, stop. I am telling you right now, stop. It is not worth the mental turmoil. That's all I gotta say. Straight from the heart today, boys, because you know, I don't wanna see anyone end up like that. See you in a bit. Take care. Don't bulk, go fight, or do something that makes you happy, I guess. I don't fucking know. If you weight lift and you do it healthily and you feel like you can actually run a mile and interact with people and not have brain fog, and most honestly, just don't repost TikTok edits, bro. You're probably a sane human being, and I respect you, man. See you in a bit. Take care.